the worst lie is not the ugly one, is not the widespread one. The worst lie is the half-truth, is the one in truth's clothing, just like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Likewise, the worst lie is the one in truth's clothing. In other words, it's a sophisticated lie. It has appeal because it has a background of truth. Therefore, it's attractive to those who listen to it and those who are searching for the truth. But many times, people, because they do not see the whole picture, like those who judge a book by its cover, many embrace the half-truth as the entire truth and take home a very poisonous lie. The devil, Satan, is the primary agent behind the half-truths. Actually, he works more with so-called half-truths because an open lie is very widespread and the majority end up rejecting the widespread lie. That's why the holy text says, and no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. So the devil transfigures himself, he passes onto people the image of an angel, an angel of light, but he is Satan. And no wonder, because he specializes himself in deception. And to deceive correctly, it is necessary to use a little truth with the lie. Therefore, the worst deceit is the one that comes with a biblical verse, is the worst deceit. The worst deceiver is the one who uses the Bible, which is the truth, the word of God, and the victims of those deceivers are usually those inconsiderate people because they don't think about what they are listening to, they don't go deeper in search of the truth, or those who want to hear what they like. Humans, in their nature, want to listen what they like. We want to hear what will please us, the things which will confirm what we already think. It's the confirmation of our biases and inclinations. I have an inclination, then I want to listen to someone who will confirm that I am right. So people search for what pleases them. For example, if you want to listen to what pleases you, you are a Christian or someone who is following Jesus, or at least trying to follow Jesus, and you try to listen to what pleases you, the devil will present a tailor-made preacher. The devil will present a preacher of the Word of God who will say precisely what you want to hear. So, for example, you want to listen to someone who supports your sexual preferences and choices. The devil will bring a preacher that will tell you, you're right. I remember in my adolescence, when I was converting, I said this a few times, that I was shocked when I read in the Bible, Matthew 5, 28. I remember because I went so many times back to this verse. I went back so many times to find a bridge in the law that I don't forget. Matthew 5, 28 says, if a man looks at a woman to lust for her, has already committed adultery with her in his heart. I said to myself, this is too hard. How come I cannot even look at a woman and lust for her? You know, 
a teenager with his hormones on edge. His hormones dancing with the rhythm of the world. The word says, you should not look at a woman and lust for her, because you have already committed adultery in your heart. Then I started to go through the Bible, and as I was new in the faith, I said to myself, I'm reading it wrong. I look for a book about the topic, and I went to an evangelical bookstore to research about the subject, because I wanted to find someone who would tell me everything is fine, you are an adolescent, I would like to find a preacher who would tell me everything was fine and I could go out with my girlfriend and keep on doing what I was doing, I could keep looking at her and do the things that I liked to do, that my flesh liked to do. And I looked for that, and thank God, because back in those days there was not so many preachers, per se, as we have today. Because today everybody is a preacher. They just need to open an account on Instagram, and they are a pastor, preacher, apostle. Anyway, when I looked for someone who would say what I wanted to hear, I didn't. I only found those who said, it's what is written in the Bible, that's it, and it is for your own good. So it was hard for me to listen to that. I didn't want to hear that. However, I had to make a choice. If I wanted to follow Jesus, I had to follow that, otherwise I had to forget that. I looked for it, so I understand those who do the same, because humans look for what it pleases them. They don't want to be confronted, they don't want to change, they don't want nobody to touch what is theirs. And God does that. He moves us. He moves things in us, he challenges us, he points out what is wrong, he calls us to change. Thus, those who want to read the Word of God only in its pleasant part are not being Christians, are creating a religion for themselves. You are creating a religion for yourself and you are not following the Word of God. So, do you want to listen to someone who supports your sexual preferences? You will find a preacher that will do that. Whatever it is, whatever you want to defend. I was born in the body of a man, but I am a woman. There will be preachers that will support you with that. You want to find a preacher who will tell you. You don't need to give to return your tithe. You will find preachers who will tell you that. You want to find a preacher who will tell you. If you are unhappy in your marriage, you got married and you are unhappy, you didn't get married with your soulmate, what matters is you to be happy. God wants you to be happy. What matters is you. Divorce that person, leave that person and marry the person from the choir or the secretary. Even the one who is married, she divorced from her husband, you divorce from your wife and both come together because you are better for the both of you than the ones that you are with at the moment. If you want a preacher who will support you with that, you will find even preachers who have done that before and not only once. So, if you want to find someone who will please you, you will find them. The devil will bring them to you. The devil will present that to you. So, these half-truths will deceive you, will take you to a place where you don't want to go. When you wake up, it will be too late, and then you will be with the father of the half-truths. When you wake up, you will be with the father of the half-truths, Satan, who transformed himself into an angel of light and when you started to feel a heat coming from below, like flames coming from below and you say it's hot, when you woke up, it was Satan, it was not an angel, and then it will be too late for you. 
The Word of God says for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but according to their own desires because they have each in years in other words curiosity to listen to new things they will heap up for themselves teachers in other words there will come a time that people will no longer want to listen to the sound doctrine in other words what is healthy good righteous what is according to the word of god and they will have each in years to listen to what displeases them and they will heap up for themselves they will have many not a few many that they may say so and so is saying this or that so if all of them are saying that these teachers are saying that so it must be right they will heap up for themselves teachers in other words teachers who will attend to their desires will say what they want to hear i believe we already reached this time as i said back on those days when i was converted mid 80s when i converted i didn't find teachers who said what i wanted to hear but today you find many no one many many teachers who will attend to your desires whatever they are we are already living in those times that the apostle paul warned his young disciple timothy that would come and they would turn their years away from the truth and be turned aside to fables so people leave the truth and go back to the fables be careful be careful because the half truth it is a half lie that becomes an entire lie and even worse because you will defend it as if it was a truth you will follow it to death and only find the truth when it is too late if today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.